Hi everybody, welcome back to Okami. Last episode we um uh restored this area. Now we're gonna explore it. Whoa! Also, I'm making it daytime because I don't want it to be night. Hmm. Even though night's better in my opinion, but we are the goddess of the sun, so yeah. Yeah. We don't have any moon powers. Right, guys? No moon powers in this game or anything? Hey, look, a lot dog. Well, I mean, not you. <laughs> totally no moon powers in this game that would allow us to make it night at will. Nope, 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 sorry. Yeah. Anyways, I'm kidnapping this lost dog. This is, this is now our child. We don't actually need him. Actually, the sequel does star Ami's child, so. Yeah. Come over here, into her house. House. There we go. Going here, we can meet no one. Cause there's no one here. If we want to meet our husband, we actually do have to come back at night. But eh, not very important that we actually meet them <laughs> yet. Not, <laughs> not yet. This is this place is definitely a place we're gonna come back to, because uh, yeah, this seems suspect as hell. Yes. Totally sus. Enough sussing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go this way. Huzzah! We're gonna murder this guy. Guys. <laughs> We've entered once again into the mouth of hell. Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate these guys. Take so many hits. It's a good thing we're using the rosary then. Oh yeah. There we go. And now we have these guys. Also kind of annoying to fight. It's gonna take a while to get up. Where are you, you son of a bagel? Why did I say son of a bagel? Dog maneuver. Woo! Woo! If you ever had a dog, you know that is the ultimate maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we feed a stream to Mr. and Mrs. Cotter's house. I regret doing hmm. this. They don't deserve water. Yeah, but other people need water and they get water from here, so it's it's more like like oh no. Oh we've we've helped some Assholes and helped a lot of good people. Let's think about it like that. Anyway, she just mentioned something about throwing a mermaid cave to open up a pathway to other places. This is the fast travel system. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, we don't have any mermaid coins, but you know, if we had. Some, Why we'd... did? Why did I think the moles were the fast travel system? Uh, because they dig underground, and you could probably use their tunnels as a path. Yeah, probably. Unfortunately, we don't have any mermaid coins, and up there is something we can't actually do yet, so. Continuing on to the p main path. Woohoo! Yay! So, yeah, you can slash shot demon scrolls to knock them out of the way. Very useful <laughs> if they're chasing you. Yeah. Game. Game. Game! Mm. Game! Oh. Okay. Game's chugging. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, why. Game's chugging like a choo choo train. Choo choo. Anyways, our actual objective is through this very normal looking exit. Oh, yeah, this seems uh, like a wonderful idea. It's a fun place. <laughs> Woo! 
Whoop. There's Kusa Village. Oh, something horrid happened here. Welcome, welcome to Kokiri Village. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he was just dissing evil. As you can see, our ink is draining. <laughs> so, yeah, mm. this guy mentions a monster that's taken over Gale's shrine. Uh, we have to go fight the monster without ink. Huzzah. Game? <laughs> Game? Game? Right. Game, work with us! I know yeah. you can do it! Game? Oh no. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, this I... guy's selling the Infinity Judge, a new weapon. That's the song Ten Wheels, Angel Judge. Uh, so, we, so we are gonna get that Infinity Wheel, right? Yes. If I have the money. Gotta sell the fish we got earlier, so that. That, that, ooh, so close. Hold on, let's see, anything else? We could literally just, we could literally just do some grinding. Sell that, there we go. We could probably also sell, sell off the sake. Actually, the sake's a pretty good sell, too. I mean, we aren't using it, so. I'm using, like, no items throughout this game. <laughs> well, I might use the Infinity Stone at some point. They're pretty useful. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. There's not really much we can actually do in town. Everybody's just bitching about how evil this place feels. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I hate how evil this place is. I don't know why it's evil. <laughs> why is this evil? <laughs> Come up here. It's just like a Christmas fuse. She mentioned she got possessed. She's possessed. And now everything's all cursed. So all we have to do is unpossess her. And how do we unpossess her? All right, so someone? we murder. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, guys. goody! Oh, goody! New imps to fight. Blue imps. Although they look kind of purplish in this image. But yeah, that was, I was about to say they look more reddish purple. Uh, we definitely want to kill these guys before our ink runs out. We also can't use our brushes. What happens if our ink runs out? Oh, uh, we can't use our weapon. Oh! Well, not that big of a deal. As y'all, I'll show you when it becomes relevant. Unfortunately, this guy really requires uh, ink brushes to be easily, but eh. And the one major weakness of the rosary is it's not very good in the air, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. This will actually become easier once the uh, ink runs out. <laughs> Just you wait. Because <laughs> once you run out of ink, you have to use Wolf Kung Fu! Hiya! Oh, okay, that's Kung actually Fu. tough! Okay, that's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, so that happens whenever you run out of ink and have to go into ink uh, recovery leg. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Ironically, better in the air than the rosary. <laughs> Anyways, that disperses the curse. Huzzah. Convenient. Huh. Don't. Don't the symbols floating f behind her look a bit familiar? Dylan, leave the foreshadowing yep. to me. <laughs> and by foreshadowing, me, me just telling you, uh, this is relevant to stuff we've seen before. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wanted to, I wanted to try and be, be somewhat clever. I how know. dare you take it? How dare you take that away from me? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you here we can see uh, some chests in the water. Huzzah! And this reminds me, there were some chests in some water that I missed earlier. I'll be sure to show it. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. Because they're actually pretty well hidden chests. But eh, I'll do it some other time. <laughs> I see with uh, treasure collecting, I'm f figuring it might be good to just do some side episodes for those. Oh, Crimson Helm! Yeah, she's mentioning something called the Crimson Helm. Yeah. 
as she's mentioning, they've been fighting this guy who's been hiding out inside the shrine for a while now. Hmm. But she's mentioning that we must the Satomi K9 Warriors. And so we must hunt them down. Give us this. This is the wolf tracker. It allows us to find wolves. <laughs> you got the pupper radar. Yeah, pup radar. <laughs> Canine tracker. So she's mentioned five of them are hidden in the village. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah. We now have to hunt dogs like Waka told us we would. Game. Game! <laughs> okay, at this point, maybe we should just save, just before things kind of go irreversible. Before it explodes. Yeah. <laughs> We're halfway through the episode, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, let's save, Ava, so we don't have to do all of this again. But I want to walk around. <laughs> <laughs> we can walk around after we save, and... And it literally would take just a couple seconds, and, uh... Not a couple seconds, we have to go all the way back to the entrance. Where am I? I'm over here. <laughs> so, uh, there's something over here that we could be looking at, but no, we have to go save according to Dylan. Us is hey! Hey, would you rather... Hey, look! Uh, Sando's here. He's having a nightmare. And he's back. <laughs> Greatest warrior ever. Yes. Meditation. Okay. I freaking love Susano, but boy, does it take a while for his character to actually get good. It does, but eh. So he's mentioning that he's thinking of a way to help us. He never does. <laughs> That's the last we see of Susano for a while. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's save. The last thing we hear about him is that he's ha having dreams of Tenacious D. <laughs> Head back to where we fell down originally because there was a dog over there. Where? Clover! Dang it. Give me that faith! Eh. And to go over here, we have this guy. Remember him? Ah, uh, he's fine if you don't. This is Kumoso. Oh! He, he looks familiar. So he was in the second episode, and he mentions uh, that there are enemies behind us. Oh. Enemies behind us. There we go. You have to kill them really quickly to get a prize, so let's get to murdering. No mercy. <laughs> mercy is for the weak! Man, good thing we have a we weapon that allows you to stay in one place and maximize your attack rate, rate, to, rate for finishers. And a god power that allows us to strike any enemy we can see <laughs> at any moment. There we go. I think the speed we have to do is 20 seconds, so that's awesome. <laughs> also, red pandas. Oh my I god. I could feed them. <laughs> But eh, fuck him. <laughs> dog! Dogga! What the dog doing? <laughs> yeah. He wants food. <laughs> I mean, he is a dog. Dog want food. Dog hungry. So, there's no button to feed him. This is kind of stupid. We actually have to go into our tools and feed them manually. 
Weird. I know, it's super weird. We can technically do that for the animals, but the animals have an actual button proper, but whatever. Yeah, we could just do another button. But if we do another button, we can't allow you to talk uh, to the doggo. At least it's not as bad as Ball in Wonder World. <laughs> Dude, a lot of things are better than that. It... <laughs> Uh, th this is, it's a quality of life issue, but just that quality of life issue, it, it can, it can be worked around. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game, I got so confused. They were like, how do I feed him? It's not like we have to go out of our way to get feed bags if we didn't have any. There's some hidden in the, in the pots. You know, I just realized I got that new weapon and never switched to it. It's just a better mirror. <laughs> That's all it is. I don't really care what it looks like. Ta-da! Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> it does look pretty damn cool. And now we shall never see it again. <laughs> I know, I know. It looks cool, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, she's mentioning it's... dead flowers. And look, the dog tracker is with the dead flowers. Ta-da, dog appeared. I have no idea how the dog got there or what it was doing. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Was that dog, like, hidden inside the dead plants? <laughs> or, or were the dead plants concealing the dog's corpse and we have inadvertently caused necromancy? does bring things back to life. <laughs> anyway, peace on the <laughs> Indeed. And skip, because that's like a 20 minute long cutscene. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be cute and all, but, uh, oh, don't get me wrong, it is cute, but, uh, they could certainly cut down on the time. Shit. And hopefully nobody kicks him. Get it? That's it. how his brother heel went. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come on, dog tracker. More meat. Give us the, give us the meat, old man. Give us the meat. <laughs> give us the Orbeez. Hmm. Suspicious, isn't it? Except uh, it's not him we're looking for. It's down there. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Now, if only we could just jump off the cliff. Eh. Come on, game. Let me jump. <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> That's not how we're supposed to get down there. Do I have to steal these vegetables? Eh. Give me that. Gourds. And pig. You could give me meat, couldn't you, pig? Huh? Oh, it's nighttime. Can't really tell the difference, can you? <laughs> Not really. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to jump down there. No! Oh, well, actually, I oh, was supposed to go down and around here. Because that's actually how you're supposed to get around to the dog. Also, this guy. Mr. Bamboo! He, he, he's going to be relevant to something later. <laughs> So you mentioned a place called the Sasa Sanctuary from the Sparrow Clan and how they're closed off. This might be relevant. Hmm. But until then, we have a glowing spot. And inside the glowing spot is a dog for some reason. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> did, 
Did the tree grow around him? <laughs> What's the dog doing? <laughs> Give me food. Be hungry. She and she's hungry. <laughs> oh, it. She hungry. Can you believe these guys? Not really. See? They're just they're just they're just hungry dogs. They they want food. What's so hard to believe? They also have a penchant for getting caught in some weird situation. Like having a yeah. tree grow around them. Actually think about it, one of them was inside a bombable wall. How'd he get in there? <laughs> Um, I think we both know the answer is don't think about it. Chicken. But where's the? the but chicken. where's the? Sorry, I was interrupting you. Continue. I lost my thought entirely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd apologize, but that's hilarious. <laughs> no, no, it is. <laughs> Anyway, just get some glass beads in this weird-looking treasure chest. Not very many of them like it in this game, and I don't know why that one's like it. Hmm. Let's come into this cave. We find... Very deep in, another dog! At least this one's not, like, sealed away or anything. Totally reasonable that this one got up in here. And then 20 fiends show up, and... Yeah. <laughs> Hungry. Oh, me, hu me hungry. Me want food. Skip the cutscene. Who has been given? Hey, look, I'll just treasure respond. A link that a winky dink. This is go. <laughs> Anyway, so we found four of them, but yet we're being told to go talk to Miss Fuse. So, we'll be into that in a sec here. As the canine tracker's now pointing us towards her. So, let's go. Mm. Eh. Okay, maybe she shouldn't have jumped all the way down here. But, eh. Whatever, wasting you guys' time is basically what this Let's Play is all about. Yep. Let's yep. go. <laughs> yep, he uh he found his way back on his own. Which actually probably makes him the best dog. <laughs> oh, he looks beat up as hell. Anyway, this is a tie. But uh he wants to try out the- he's a warrior dog, this guy's actually a fighter. So we actually get to fight him. Yes. Really enough, one of the few times we fight something that isn't a demon. <laughs> um, or supernatural in- well, in some way, shape, or form. Well, they are magic warrior dogs, so uh, the supernatural aspect still applies. Yeah, they haven't that. seen some shit. Just did a falcon punch on us, man. This is this is anime land. That could be normal for all we know. I mean, we do know dog kung fu. Yeah, but we're gods, so of course we know dog kung fu. Oh, that dog is zippy. Zippy and down. Victory. Man, imagine Mommy. this game let you power slash at that moment. <laughs> Two. Oh, God. oh God! <laughs> Yay! Immediately upon. 
not seeing this girl. He's like, nope. <laughs> Bad dogs. Now we gotta go out into the world to find the other three. And as you can see from this map, uh, two of them are in places we've already seen. Oh dear. You, you <laughs> yeah. And we're back tracking we go, boys! Woo! Also for Terry here, we still have to beat him. <laughs> I love how after we beat him up, we just beat him. <laughs> Dude, that was a hella good fight. Hey, you want some food? Hell yeah, brother. I mean, sister. I mean. And that is for picking a fight. That is for be hiding yourself in a tree. That is for, I don't remember where you were. <laughs> and they're gone. They, they escaped. They saw what I was doing to the others. They made their <laughs> run. <laughs> They're actually in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, actually, this is a pretty good spot to stop. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hope y'all have fun. And, I mean, I did. Yep. What, what about you, Cody? Did you have fun? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, now Dylan's holding him hostage for me. That's what we call Stockholm Syndrome. And actually, before we finish, I should probably show you what's over here. It's treasure. <laughs> And we're going to need a lot of treasure between now and the next episode, so. Oh, boy. For, uh, probably the best attack in the game spot from the dojo. But, uh, we'll get into that when we get into it. <laughs> eh. Come on, you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess we're not ending this episode yet. <laughs> Grab treasure. And actually, this guy's Grab got something interesting. He's mentioning an island out in the sky called the Celestial Plain. Hmm. This is gonna be. Oh, there's monkeys. Monkeys! Yeah, I'll beat them some other time. <laughs> Come across here. We have this guy! Remember him? Oh, him? So, yeah, this is actually gonna be a recurring, uh, recurring problem. <laughs> So yeah, every time we find him, we're gonna, he's gonna get harder and harder. So uh, we get appreciate him. Bing, bong, dude, bing, dude. There we go. Remember, you do have to do them in order. If you do them out of order, it screws up. <laughs> For killing him, we get bullhorns. A really not that good treasure. <laughs> we have committed murder for nothing. <laughs> oh, and these clovers. Okay, now we're done with the episode. 